Okay, yeah, I know you're panicked. I know, just chill with the heavy breathing. Sound like a bit of a perv there. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back with some more XCOM 2, and we've got a bit of a hiccup, a bit of a speed bump, a bit of a problem. We don't have enough warm bodies in the XCOM base. Um, prior to recording, Central popped up and said, hey, um, you don't have enough people to send out a full squad. And that's that's a bit of an issue. Um, we have had a lot of injuries lately, like a lot. So if we take a look at our roster here, pretty much everyone is in the XCOM hospital. We have uh, Kostya, Johnny Walker, and Patrick Doyle. There are only three available rookies, I might add. They're not even squaddies. But those are the only people we've got to take out on a mission. And Sarah Ferguson is training to be a ranger, so she'll be available in four days. But everyone else is pretty much out for the count. Cecile will be up relatively shortly. Um, and Cecile did pretty well on her first mission. But everyone else is out for at least a couple of weeks here. So first thing we really need to take care of is hiring somebody, um, anyone at all at this point. Uh, how about um, Michelle? What's your deal? Uh, or Janet? You're all one and the same. It doesn't really matter. We could get Hugo Vasquez, who might be Vasquez's brother. That would be kind of interesting. Uh, Vasquez, our star rookie from the last episode, who just did great, great work. How about Catherine Watkins? Watkins. Yeah, you'll do. You have good hair. I'll recruit you. And remember, you don't get a hat until you survive your first mission. It's going to cost me 25 supplies, but we've got a supply drop coming in basically tomorrow. So that will round out our roster of complete rookies. The other thing I wanted to look at is we picked up a weapon modification in the last episode. And I just wanted to get a feel for how those work. And I think if we go to basically anyone, how about, um, I don't know, Patrick Doyle. Patrick Doyle, what's your deal? Uh, okay, yeah, weapon upgrade. It's even got a little exclamation mark right next to it. So the game definitely figured I'd want to investigate weapon upgrades. You're right, game. I would. How do we do this? Available slot. Okay. And we can put... Oh, we've got more than one, actually. Oh, that's right. We got that scope ages ago, didn't we? So a scope is increased aim. A repeater is free instant kills. 5% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining HP. Oh, holy moly. Repeater is just... I, I want all the repeaters in the world, please. Uh, what does a stock do? Miss shots still deal one damage to the target. Oh, that's really good, too. Anytime you can put the word guaranteed damage into an XCOM game, I'm all about that. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see how this is going to play out. Let's give you the stock. Yeah, I will confirm that, yes. Um, once a weapon upgrade is applied, it can be replaced but not reused. Okay, good to know. So this is, if I take this off, I lose it. So yes, let's put a stock on that. And uh, weapon name, weapon color, weapon pattern, we'll, we'll deal with that later. I'll fidget with that kind of stuff off screen. Okay, well, there's something for you. How about uh, somebody else? Um, I don't know, uh, Johnny Walker. What, what could we do with you? You, uh, you can also get a weapon upgrade. We could, um, you should probably have the scope, seeing as you're going to be a sniper. We really want you halfway across the map shooting things. So, yeah, why don't you go ahead and take that? Good. And let's uh, let's just do something else with one of these guys. Who else? Kostya. Kostya. Why don't you get the repeater? Because I, I love the sound of guaranteed kills. Free instant kills. Yes, please. Yes, please. I would like to do that. Oh, I, I like the sound of that a lot. So let's see. You're a squatty grenadier, and Johnny Walker, you are a sharpshooter. That means you guys are going to get a hat. All right, let me fidget with these guys and customize them a little bit, and then we'll see what XCOM wants us to do today. Okay, so after our recent success, members of the Resistance in East Africa have brought us reports of activity we may want to investigate. Okay, yeah, sure. We're not doing anything until research is done anyway, so let's swing over there and see what's going to happen with the resistance in East Africa. I'm all right if we could start locking down Africa as a good little continent for us to operate from and explore from. So we've got a supply drop coming. We've got some research coming in three days. And that's about it for right now. So let's just tick time along a little bit. 
All right, I will absolutely accept that transmission. All right, pretty good. So new staff available, Dr. Tina Hudson and Corporal Bessie Stewart. Recruit new staff at Resistance HQ. So Corporal, is that, that like a soldier Corporal? Because I'd be all about that. Looks like we did pretty good. Um, retaliation stopped, guerrilla ops completed. We, we did okay for our first month here. Yeah, I will definitely continue. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's this? Ah, okay. So these were the dark events that were alluded to in the last episode or the episode prior, I don't know. And again, just to be clear, I am playing this blind. I have no idea what the dark events mean, but let's see what's going on here. Uh, Hunt XCOM, a UFO hunts the Avenger. If they keep imprisoning and torturing people, eventually somebody's going to talk. Or alien infiltrator, the aliens hide in ambush among the populace, placing hidden faceless aliens on each mission for a month. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. I don't like that at all. Uh, so do I have to pick one of these, I guess, or or not? Um, how exactly does this work? Well, I'm not 100% sure how that works. Um, I don't seem to be able to click on anything. Maybe this is just telling me what's coming down the road. That would make some degree of sense, I guess. Uh, supply drop came in, 140 supplies. Why do I want to investigate this? Oh, I have to go get my stuff. That's kind of a pain in the neck. I really want those supplies. We're not finished scanning at this location. Uh, no, I want to finish doing what we're doing here. That's Oh, but that's only going to be there for three days. That's only going to be there for three days. We should go get that. Uh, hang on, hang on. There's all sorts of stuff going on the map here. Firefight, what is that? Um, I, I, oh, there's... There's all sorts of things. I really need those supplies, though. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We, we got to jet. We got to take off and deal with this supply thing. I, I only have 48 supplies. And I didn't realize I had to go get my own supplies. All right. Let's start scanning that. Two days. One day. Oh, you finished resistance communications. Okay, good. Good. So we can construct the resistance comms. We can research resistance radio and resistant contacts are available. All right. Um, well, I don't have anywhere to build this yet, Shen, so just chill on that if you could. Now then, um, this advent data pad decryption. I feel like we should be doing this. Valuable intel stored within. We should probably do that. Let's, let's do that. That's, that sounds like a really good thing that we should be doing. So, all right, back to the main map here. And let's keep this moving along. I want to get those supplies. The new resistance communications network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. Okay, I will totally get working on that, Central. I've got a lot going on here. Communication systems are online. We can make contact with local resistance in West Africa. Super. And, and South Africa. Yes, we can do that too. Super. I've got a lot going on, Central. Central, I, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm qualified for this central. I, you may have broken me out of stasis, you know, maybe, maybe too soon or something. Um, okay, we can make contact with South Africa, and that costs us supplies. W what are my other options here? I'd really like to get the rest of these supplies. Is what I'd like to do. So let's do that. That only takes one more day. Okay, we collected all the research. Yes, please fly back to Resistance HQ. Okay, we got that done. So we got some, some supplies, some money, I guess. New scientists, engineers, and veteran soldiers are available. Yes, I totally want to recruit new staff. And talk to me about Corporal Bessie Stewart, a grenadier. I see she comes with her own hat which is the qualification for being anything above rookie. Oh, um, now do I, I, I guess I can just buy as many as I want here. I definitely would like to have a corporal on site and we need the warm bodies anyway, but that's basically gonna take all of my supplies. That's 170 supplies, I've only got 188. 
Uh, do these people have a time frame? Are they going to hang out for a while? Uh, medical assistance scanning bonus. And, oh, that would help our... Oh, that's really good. Help our soldiers recover from injuries faster. Purchasing this ability will overwrite the current resistant HQ scanning bonus. The scanning bonus may only be modified once a month. Rapid construction, that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Um, and I only get one of these scanning bonuses. Oh, this is really hard to choose. I'm taking the medical assistance. We got to get our people out of the XCOM hospital. I'm going to have to pass on the Grenadier. That's just all of my money. That's all of my money. So, yeah, taking it, taking it. Oh, okay, I got a new soldier. That's nice. Oh, that's the one I hired. Never mind. Wah, wah. Uh, no, okay, so nothing I can do there. All right, I got a lot going on. This is really complicated. Should we go down to... Uh, okay, so if we pass time at Resistance HQ, which is where we are, we will heal faster. All right, all right. Or we could make contact with West Africa, or we could go to this firefight thing. I don't even know what that is. Or we could go get some more supplies. Let's go get some more supplies. This is probably a terrible idea, but let's go get some more supplies. Okay, excellent. Our squaddy Sarah Ferguson has completed her training, so she is our new ranger. Uh, carry on. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get her. Alien debris is done. Oh, let's actually go deal with that. Proving ground. Yes, I would actually like to build that. That's going to cost me 100 supplies. Oh, good thing I didn't buy that that uh, corporal because that we wouldn't have been able to do this. But this is part of the campaign. So, okay, go ahead and do that. An unstaffed engineer who can assist in the building. Would I like to assign them? Yes, absolutely, I would. Yep, Lena, go over there and help with that. And go back to here and keep with the scanning. And, I don't know, do something. This is very complicated. Well, the Resistance want to have a word. What do you guys have to say? Hello, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. Although I deeply appreciate shadowy XCOM guy's confidence in me, I think it might be largely unearned. I think he may have far more confidence in my ability to command this XCOM team than, than I do. But we'll see what we've got going on. I assume the Avatar project is sort of our end goal. That's, that's the broad scope of the story. Um, okay, that's fine, Central. We'll, we'll try and deal with that. Oh, oh, things are happening. Um, th w w what? What are dark events? Okay. Again, what 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 do I do? What do I do? You know what? I'm just going to scan things. I, I'm comfortable scanning things. New target acquired. New target for our guerrilla operations against Advent. Okay, let's review the target. What could we do? Operation Severed Mask. Recover item from Advent vehicle. And we would get a scientist for that. Counters the XCOM dark event, hunting XCOM, and launches a UFO oh, to hunt XCOM. So what I'm reading into this is if we do this, they're going to launch a UFO to hunt us. Okay, well, you know what? That was probably coming. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll just sort of bypass those supplies right now that we desperately, desperately need. And let's go do a mission and see how many people die. All right, so we've got four squaddies ready to go. Uh, Squaddy Dubois, Cecile Dubois from the last episode, is out of the XCOM hospital, so she's available. She is, however, listed as shaken still. I would assume that means she's going to be more prone to panic, probably have a lower will and be more prone to panicking and doing something incredibly stupid. But we're taking her anyway because, you know, I, I need the warm bodies at this point. And I'd like to see if we can get somebody past Squaddy. I think that would be lovely. And and everyone's got hats except for Cecile, because I just kind of liked her as is, so I gave her some cool sunglasses anyway. Um, that, that'll help flesh her out. Everyone's customized. Everyone's ready to go. Let's go see if we can rescue Dr. Ross Fox without everybody dying. I, I don't know if that's going to happen, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's see what we do.
Well, this is going to be even more fun than usual. Not only do we have a timer on this, but we've also been told that the thing we're trying to get is surrounded by detonating explosives, and um, if we don't get a hustle on, they're just going to blow up the thing that we're trying to get. So, you know, that's no good. Um, oh, you can, you can oddly get to the top of that sign. I don't know why I'd want to do that. That puts you in a really exposed position, but we'll give that a shot. Give that a shot, sniper. Put you up tall. See see what you can see up there. Um, Kostya, my grenadier. Let's get you over here. And what else could we be doing? Okay, there's two over there. There's at least one at the truck. Um, not loving our chances on this. Sarah, my new ranger. Let's get you moving in that direction. That's reasonably a positive place to put you. And Cecile, my prone to panicky specialist, let's get you over here. Okay, now what is their move going to be? Nothing? Nothing at all. Okay, well, I know you guys are all up there. I can see you right there. You're not hiding from me. Uh, let me just go to um, Johnny. You do not have a shot at anything. Which is odd, because I feel you should. You can literally see them right there. How about if we moved... Nope, that's all within sight. How about if we moved you over here? That, does that give you any sight? Like, God, like, they're literally right there. I can see them. I can see them. Why can't you see them? Um, Cecile, why don't you... See, anything we do is going to break concealment. Anything at all. How about... Could you get over here without breaking concealment? Yeah, but the second you go in the building, we're going to have an issue. Goodness. Um, and this is an easy mission. This is an easy mission. That's what this was advertised at. Easy, easy, easy. Yep, somebody at XCOM wrote this mission and said, ah, this is going to be a doddle. No one will have any problem with this. This is like the easiest mission in the world. You guys will be fine. Um, sure. Sure. So this is happening. Um, okay. I get, for want of anything better to do, just park yourself there. Your hack thing. Because if we could turn that thing off, that's going to help matters a lot. So what, what do you figure your chances are on hacking that? Coin flip. Total coin flip. Total 100% coin flip. Um, give it a shot. I'll probably regret this, but give it a shot. Oh, do we get it? We got it. Oh, okay. I was not counting on that. Now, does that shut down those things? Mm, I think it does, but we're still going to be breaking concealment anyway, because those guys are right there. Uh, you actually have a shot. And you have... How how is it you can see them and I can't? That is that because we hacked that thing and now I can you know sort of do their visibility thing. If I put you, oh I don't know, right there. Could could you blow up stuff? Let me uh, switch the camera angle here. Hang on, no no no. There we go. Could you um, blow up a bunch of people if I put that right there? I'd love it if you could. Go ahead and shoot something. Just th throw a grenade at something, please. Please do it well, by the way. Okay. Well, that did some good work. That didn't do nothing at all. Oh, we're revealed. I am not wholly surprised by that. Okay, so these are new Advent soldiers. These are melee-based. Interesting. And they have stun units. All right. Okay, stun units. Um, I, I might be able to cope with that. All right, Johnny Walker's got a shot at the sectoid, and it's not the worst shot in the world. Go ahead and, and see if you can take this guy out. I'd super appreciate it if you could. Y you didn't. You didn't. You looked really cool doing it, but you didn't. Oh, now it's their turn. Oh, dear. I wonder if he's going to mind control. Ah, uh, yep. Sure looks like he is. Yep. 
Cecile is mind controlled. Well, fantabulous. That's just awesome. And, um, okay, that's a miss from the little stun rod thing. Okay, yep, you're mind controlling. I know you're mind controlling. We're aware of that. Oh, you're gonna shoot my sniper. You're gonna shoot my sniper. Oh, it's our turn. Oh, super. Super. Um, I really like it when it's our turn as opposed to their turn. Um, go over here. Shoot this guy in the back, please. Yeah, no, shoot the guy who's mind-controlling our soldier, if you could. That would be the ideal here. Please don't miss. That looked so awesome. That looked so awesome. I only want to shoot people with miniguns from now on. Um, that being said, we've got some work to do here. So do you... Can you actually take that shot, or are you coming out of mind control? No, you can take the shot. All right. Okay. Okay. That's a promising beginning. A promising beginning. Um, what are we going to do from here? The thing we need is right there. Let me uh, spin this around a little bit here. All right, let's get you here so we can at least get that stuff. What did we pick up here? Hair trigger... Uh, I don't know what PCS advanced conditioning is and a data pad. All right, all good stuff. I certainly like the sound of hair trigger. That sounds great. Oh, we've got more folks. There's more folks coming in. Hi. Um, sorry about killing two of your friends. Um, oh, my turn again? I love it when it's my turn. You know, given the choice between my turn or their turn, I really love it when it's my turn. Now, you, you have a, a terrible, terrible shot. How far could you get a grenade? Could could you make the car go all splody? Not quite. Not quite. Um, can't even really reach this guy. Darn it. Darn it. Um, I. You know what? Let's just get you out of the way then, because you're completely in the line of fire right now. Yeah, just get in some cover, please. Uh, Johnny Walker. Oh, you have a great shot against this guy. Yeah, go ahead and take that. Look cool doing it. Yeah. Now there's your badass sniper right there. That's what a sniper should be doing. Although I probably should get you out of there because you're in terrible cover. You're just waiting to get shot at this point. Okay, Cecile. Oh, that's just not quite going to make it. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, well, we know this area is pretty clear. Could we... You know what? Just take the dash... Take the dash. That's going to put you in a good spot to start lining up some shots against these guys. Okay, two soldiers and a sectoid. I hate the sectoids. One of them is just a regular advanced soldier. One of them is not. Now, what's their move going to be? Okay, Kostya. Kostya, Kostya, Kostya. I bet you you have another grenade. And I bet you'd like to launch it at somebody and blow everyone up. How far can you get that, and what can you do with it? Um, oh, we don't want to blow up that, though. We don't want to blow up that. Um, blow up this. And it'll also remove any thoughts of cover they might have in that area. Okay. Solid shot. Solid shot. Wait, you get a... Do you get to shoot back? No? Okay. All right, I thought you were going to shoot back at me for some reason. Yeah, go ahead and take the flanking shot. Anything we can do to thin their numbers at this point? Ah, uh, I gotta get you something besides a shotgun. I've never liked shotguns in XCOM. I've never liked them. Don't know why I'm using one. Uh, did, I know why I'm using ones, because I didn't edit it out of you. Um, Alright, it's a better shot, and if you hit, it will just immediately eliminate one of these people. Done. Excellent. Just thin the numbers at this point. Just thin the numbers. That's all we're trying to do right now. Yes, I know you're probably going to try and mind control me. you probably succeed, to be honest. I gotta, you know, as much as I love XCOM 2, and I do... Alright, you're panicked. That's better than mind control, because sometimes you shoot things when you're panicky. Uh, as much as I love XCOM 2, and I 100% do, mind control this early in the game is pushing the limits of actually being unfair. I think that's actually unfair for them to do that. 
it's too soon, you're not prepared for that, and you have no real way of countering it. Okay, yeah, I know you're panicked. I know, just chill with the heavy breathing. Sound like a bit of a perv there. Um, okay, so Cecile could actually hop right up here and shoot this guy in the back. That would be great. Um, however, I'd like to get my ranger moving in a positive direction in terms of... Oh, wow. You can actually dash that far and hit that guy? Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me see what uh, good old Johnny Walker could do here. Let me go to... No... Yes. What kind of shot do you have over here? Oh, you need to reload. Oh, darn it. Okay, but wait, that somehow does not completely end my turn? Is that what I remember from the comments section? Could I, could I still take in the shot? Apparently not, but I can take a shot at this guy. Weird. Okay, take that shot then. Oh, it's pistol shot. All right, I get you. I get you. Well, great. Good. Job done. Job 100% done. Solved all your issues real quick. Uh, Sarah, what's your shot like? Absolutely terrible. Um, how about, can you slash him? Can you get all the way over there and slash him? It's six to eight damage. That would be a great finishing move, but I don't want to put you all the way over there and you don't kill him. So Cecile, can I get you closer to get a better shot? Please say yes. Please don't muff this shot. Please. Oh God, it's only 38%. Ah, uh, you know, oh, it's going to say you have a grenade, but we can't blow up the thing that we're trying to save. If I put that right there, right there. I hope this doesn't blow up the truck. Please don't blow up the truck. Because I think we need to save that thing. Oh, I think it is going to blow up the truck. Okay, Sarah, get over here and slash this guy with your sword because that's just badass and cool. Come on, get in there. Just knife this guy. Yeah, love it. Love it. I love rangers. I'm all about rangers. Okay, now what? Now what do we do? No further contacts. I love the sound of no further targets. Okay, shush, central, shush. Central, I can't get the thing until you shush. Okay, uh, Sarah, you're right here. You are literally right here. Um, how do how do we get in here? How do we get the thing? Can we just go in there and get it? Oh, do we need to hack the door? No, okay, we need to open the door, first of all. So, go over here. Open the door. Open the door. Uh, can we just sort of... Is that it? Do we need to move in and click on it or anything? I would love to move to acquire. Central, you know... I like you, I really do, but you talk a lot. You really do talk a lot. Um, oh, sorry, the camera angle is just being really fidgety right now. I, I want, yes, put, your, put you there. Put you there. Uh, Cecile, just in case we need to do some kind of hacking thing over here, why don't you start moving in a positive direction? Okay, good. And you can hang out there and actually just overwatch. That's fine. And you can definitely overwatch. Yeah, please do that. And Cecile, no, I want to go to, uh... No. Yes. Can we just get the thing? Okay, apparently we can just get the thing. Oh, you're gonna hack. Alright, it's a 100% chance to disarm the detonator. Um... And what could our perks be? Soldier's hacking set permanently increased by 20. I only have a 1% chance of doing it. doesn't matter. You know what? Just begin the hack. Just begin the hack. I was going to trade this in for Cecile because it would make more sense that she had a higher hack rate. But at a 1% chance, I think we'll be okay. I don't think I missed a huge opportunity there. Now, do we just get the... Th yes, we got the thing. Uh, psychological restraint data. Okay. Yeah, get that. Uh, we're done. Oh, thank God we're done. Flawless. Wow. Don't think we've ever had that before. We had no deaths. Nobody died. Nobody died. Nobody died. Yay. Let's go home. Well, this is absolutely a first. Not only is nobody dead, nobody's even injured. 
these guys can all come out and play next time. But we do have a couple of promotions to deal with. Um, our sharpshooter, and justifiably so, sitting on top of a billboard, picking people off. Johnny Walker, what are you going to get to play with? Uh, long watch and return fire. Okay, we dealt with this promotion um, with our other sniper. I really like the sound of return fire because it's just a free shot. It's a free shot that cost me nothing. So yeah, I'm going to keep going with return fire. That's good. And who else? Our Squaddy Dubois. I'm I'm starting to like you. You're you're a valuable member of the team. You put in some good work. And specialist, so medical protocol, combat protocol. And I, as much as I love the idea of combat protocol, I you know I feel medical protocol really needs to be the way to go. Maybe I'll. I'm going to give her combat protocol, and here's why. Our other specialist, Neil Patil, has medical protocol. Admittedly, he's in an advent prison somewhere, but I just want to take combat protocol out for a test drive to see what it does. And the words guaranteed damage sound really good in an XCOM game. So decry me in the comments if you want, but I just want to play around with this and see what it does. So combat protocol, yes, do that. Okay successful mission nobody dead nobody in the XCOM hospital let's let's just end this on a high note and get while the going is good and we'll pick this up again in the next episode of XCOM 2 until then I'm Dave thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time